Welcome to my video on how to screen record on a MacBook. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to screen record on your MacBook. You can record your screen on MacBook with the screenshot feature that is built in on the Mac OS. But today we are not going to use this feature. Check the description of the video to see a video about this feature. For this video, we will use an app from App Store. Before we start, let's talk about this. Let's talk about what are some of the best apps to record your screen for a MacBook. QuickTime Player. QuickTime Player is a free and easy to use screen recorder that comes pre installed on macOS. It's great for basic screen recording needs, but it doesn't offer as many features as some of the other apps on this list. Here are some of the pros and cons of QuickTime Player Pros Free, easy to use, records your screen and audio, supports a variety of output formats. Cons No advanced features, such as annotations or voiceovers, can't record multiple audio sources, no live streaming. OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a free and open source screen recorder that is very powerful and versatile. It offers a wide range of features, including the ability to record multiple audio sources, add annotations, and live stream your recordings. Here are some of the pros and cons of OBS Studio. Pros. Free and open source. Very powerful and versatile. Supports a wide range of features. Highly customizable. Cons can be complex to set up and use, not as user-friendly as some other screen recorders. ScreenFlow ScreenFlow is a paid screen recorder that offers a high level of features and customization. It's great for creating professional-looking screen recordings, and it also includes the ability to add annotations, voiceovers, and music to your recordings. Here are some of the pros and cons of ScreenFlow. Pros Powerful and versatile, easy to use, supports a wide range of features, includes annotations, voiceovers, and music. Cons. Expensive, not as user-friendly as some other screen recorders. Movavi Screen Recorder. Movavi Screen Recorder is a paid screen recorder that is easy to use and offers a good range of features. It's great for recording gameplay, tutorials, and other types of videos. Here are some of the pros and cons of Movavi Screen Recorder. Pros. Easy to use, affordable, offers a good range of features, supports a variety of output formats. Cons. Not as powerful or versatile as some other screen recorders, lacks some advanced features, such as annotations and voiceovers. Loom. Loom is a free screen recorder that is great for quickly recording and sharing short videos. It's perfect for recording quick tutorials, demos, or bug reports. Here are some of the pros and cons of Loom. Pros. Free, easy to use, quick and easy to record and share videos, great for short videos. Cons. Limited features, can't record audio from multiple sources, no live streaming. How to screen record on a MacBook. We will use a simple app for this tutorial. You can use also the apps from the list. Click on the App Store. On the search write do screen recorder and hit the enter key. Click get on this app. Log in with your Apple ID or just use your fingerprint to install the app. After the installation is complete, click on Open. On Do Recorder, you can record the screen, make a live stream, and do a camera recording. For live streaming, I suggest using other software like OBS. We need also to do some configurations before we proceed to the actual recording. Click on record screen. Allow Do Recorder to access the microphone if you wish to also record your voice. Click OK. Now you need to allow the Do Recorder to record your computer screen and audio. Click on Open System Settings. On this page, toggle on the Do Recorder button. Use your password or fingerprint to allow this. You need to restart the app for this option to be active. Click Quit and Reopen. Now you can close this window. Let's click again on Record. Now you can use all of these options. So let me explain a bit about all of the options on Do Recorder. Resolution. This option allows you to choose the resolution of your recordings. I suggest using 1080p but this will take much more space. FPS stands for frames per second, and it is a term commonly used in the world of digital video and animation. 
FPS refers to the number of individual frames or images displayed in one second of video playback. I suggest using 30 FPS or 60 FPS. Why? What are the differences? 30 FPS. This is a standard frame rate commonly used in television broadcasts, online videos, and many video games. It provides a decent balance between smoothness and efficiency. 60 FPS. This frame rate is often considered the gold standard for smooth and fluid motion. It's commonly used in video games, high quality online videos, and certain types of content where motion clarity is crucial. It's important to note that the human eye can perceive motion at around 24 FPS, which is why most movies are traditionally filmed and displayed at this frame rate. However, higher frame rates are often preferred in interactive media like video games to enhance responsiveness and realism. When recording or editing videos, choosing the appropriate frame rate depends on factors like the intended use of the video, the platform it will be displayed on, and the level of motion detail required. Keep in mind that higher frame rates may require more processing power and storage space, so a balance needs to be struck between visual quality and practical considerations. The next option we have is the select recording area. You can record the full screen or just a region recording. You can use the region record when you wish only to record an app or a window. The camera option will allow you to film yourself when you record your screen. This is very useful for a tutorial or other types of content. Sound will allow you to record also your microphone at the time of the recording of your screen on your MacBook. Now let's hit record. Because I selected regional recording I need to select first the screen zone. So I will just click and move the mouse to select a region. After I selected the region click on this check button from the bottom. Now the screen will start recording. All that I do in this selected region will be recorded. When you wish to finish the recording go with the mouse over on the stop button from the top of the bar. A video will pop up with your recording. So this is an easy way to record your screen on your MacBook. That's it for my video on how to screen record on a MacBook. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.